electric field due to an electric dipole at points on the axial line. Physics for everyone welcomes you. A today topic, electric field due to an electric dipole at points on the axial line. Let us learn few formulae to understand this topic. The first one, the source charge which create electric field. Good. Then another one, the test charge Q0. Then they are separated by distance of R vector. Then Q0 experiences a force F vector. The force on Q0, F vector equals 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q Q0 by R square. Then the most important, the electric field at Q0, E vector equals F vector by Q0 which leads to a, the important pro, the important formula E vector equals 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R square R cap. We are going to use this formula in this topic. There are two charges here, minus Q plus Q. A line joining, this line joining two charges is called axial line. Good. The midpoint is O. From midpoint O, these charges at a distance A each. The electric dipole moment is from minus Q to plus Q represented by a letter P vector. At a point C, what is the electric field? That what we are going to find because of these two charges, what we call it as dipole. Good. The electric field at C is E axial. Consider an electric dipole placed on the x-axis as shown in the figure. A point C is located at a distance of R from the midpoint O of the dipole on the axial line. Let us consider only one charge plus Q right now. Right Now we have to find what is the distance of C from plus Q. From the data we know that the distance BC equals R minus A. Good. The electric field at C will be away from the charge because the charge is a positive one. It is given by a letter E plus vector. The electric field at C due to plus Q is E plus vector equals 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R minus A whole square P cap. Let us write this here. E plus vector equals 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R minus A whole square P cap. Let us now consider only minus Q charge. Now what is the distance of C from minus Q? It is R plus A. Good. What is the direction of electric field at C due to minus Q? It will be towards minus Q because Q is negative charge. Then the strength of electric field at C due to minus Q is little less than strength of electric field at C due to plus Q because minus Q is little away from plus Q. So, the electric field at point C due to minus Q E minus vector equals minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q divided by R plus A whole square P cap. E minus vector equals 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R plus A whole square P cap. Now, let us consider both the charges together. Now, let us find what is the electric field at C due to these two charges together? E plus, it is due to plus Q. E minus vector, it is due to minus Q. These two are opposite and we have to subtract the smaller vector from the bigger vector and the resultant, resultant vector will be along the bigger vector. Since plus Q is located closer to the point C than minus Q, plus E plus vector is stronger than E minus vector. The total electric field at point C is E axial vector equals E plus vector plus E minus vector. As they are in the opposite direction, we have to cancel 
and the resultant will be along the greater vector side that is E axial along the direction of dipole moment. Let us substitute the value of E plus and E minus what we have got earlier. So E plus is replaced by 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R minus a whole square P cap and E minus is replaced by minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R plus a whole square P cap. Let us continue this, right? And we get here, as we simplify, R square, A square terms cancel each other and 2 RA term 2 times we get, so in the numerator we get 4 RA. The distance R is much greater than the small a, then we can simply neglect the a square value. Right. So, we can write E axial vector equals 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 4 a q divided by r q p cap. Since 2 a q p cap equals p vector called electric dipole moment vector it is directed from minus q to plus q. So, E axial vector equals 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 2p vector divided by r cube. Now, look at the diagram. Now, we consider the point C on the side of minus q charge. Good. Now, minus q charge is closer to the point C than plus q, then its field at C will be greater then the resultant field at C will be along the greater electric field side that is E minus vector side. So, once again E axial is along the direction of P vector. If the point C is chosen on the left side of the dipole, the dipole electric field is still in the direction of P vector and remember the direction of electric field on the axial line is along the p vector except for the length 2L. The final derived form E axial vector equals 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 2P vector by R cube. Let us once again read E, ve e axial vector equals 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 2P vector by R cube. Thank you children.